So most people are familiar with your, your general monitoring, which is your, your infrastructure metrics, your CP utilization, memory utilization, network statistics, things of that nature. So we do have, uh, you know, your breakout here of requests going on, the duration of the request, the amount of concurrent users on there, the time, and the net kind of fun stuff. But what we care about is the historical data so we can kind of see what's going on over time. So for when there's um, problems with an instance or whatnot, we, we do things here for a default dashboard to kind of give you a single pane of glass to, to effectively triage um, any, any sort of performance or outage situation for your Jira or Atlassian applications. Some of the uh, the fun things we do here are if you have like a 500 status code, we notate not only where that happens on the chart here, but you can see the uh, the path they were hitting along with the actual user that was uh, getting the prop here. In this case, that was Ingrid. We have our request duration over time per host in the cluster. So we can see when we get spikes for, hey, this is not performing very well. We can kind of dig into that specifically. And we can see that we had an associated CPU spike here. We have our user activity. So what are people doing within the environment? Here, I'm just going to reset this to 15 hours. Number six, that'll work. So what are our users are doing here as far as requests, seeing if somebody's going on? Um, it's pretty common for like the automation user to be wigging out on, on some stuff on an interval. Uh, we have our, our top access paths, so, you know, activity as far as um, how frequent something is being accessed within the instance. Um, top user requests for what people are doing. Uh, paths, users, just general information about uh, a high level overview of how the, the system is performing and what people are doing within it.